is so exciting. You finally did it. I told you it'd be a success. Oh, I knew it'd be a success. It was simply a matter of time. Wow, your own gallery. My God, what's that for? Oh, her, that's Emerald Zinkovitz, the great artist. <laughs> she tried to get some of her crap into my gallery, but I just laughed at her. You should have seen her work. The woman simply has no talent whatsoever. <sighs> Excuse me, ma'am. Um, you can't smoke in here. Well, when I told her I couldn't use that trash, she stormed out of my office looking like she was going to kill someone. My God, if you're going to make it in the art world, you must at least be able to accept some criticism. Anyway, forget about that old sea hag. I'm having a big do at my place tonight. You'll be there.
I just got engaged to my boyfriend. I suppose he's my fiancé now. <laughs> Would you like to see the ring? It looks like two carrots, but it's really only one and a half. But under certain light, you can sure to see a rainbow. <laughs> but not under pleasant light. Thank God you're here. I, I work here else. Where else would I be? <laughs> I need you to do me a big favor. Just, just calm down, Ellis. You look upset. Of course I'm upset. Dominic's dead. And I know who killed him. something hard. It's not evidence. It's for you. Oh, but who did it then? That bimbo emerald Sinkowitz. And I want you to spy on her. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is just a oh, little... Shut up. I'll do anything you ask, Ellis. Anything. Good. You'll go to Emerald's house and tell her you're a reporter from Art World Magazine. Uh -huh. Tell her you're doing a feature article on her artwork. She'll love you. Excuse me. This is just a little too much for her right now. I'm... Shut up. Some abandoned warehouse downtown. Now, don't be too obvious. Just keep her talking. She'll crack. Then I'll get her. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Please, please. I'll go there this afternoon, Alice. Are you Emerald Zinkowitz? Turkey Fox! Who can that be? What's it to you? Well, I'm uh, a, a writer, a, a reporter from Art World magazine, and we uh, wanted to do a story on your artwork. Oh, my art? Well, come right in, my friend. What'd you find out? Oh, Ellis, they two are strange. Two? Yeah, that crazy old lady lives with her wacky daughter, too. The two of them together just give me the willies. Well, what'd you find out about the murder? Oh, nothing about the murder. But her art, you know, she takes I know all about it. The murder? She didn't talk about it. I couldn't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> she wants to know when her article's going to be printed and when the photographers are coming to take photos of her work. There is no article. Didn't you find out anything, you putz? Now, what kind of language is that for a supermarket? There are kids in here. Yeah, why don't you leave and let him do his job? Well, well, the topic just didn't come up. Look, why don't you just leave? You're making us sink. Funny thing, those two uglies are entering a beauty pageant. They're what? Yeah. Emerald's daughter, her name is, um, Fozzie or something. She's so smart. She was babbling about this pageant and how when they win the grand prize, they're gonna move right out of town. Oh, that's what she's up to. Win the prize, skip town. Uh-huh. What pageant? Oh, you know that one coming up next month, the, uh, fallopia mother-daughter beauty pageant. Mother-daughter beauty I'll show them. Just wait. We'll enter that pageant and show Emerald Zinkowitz who's gonna win the grand prize. You mean me and you enter the beauty pageant? Oh, that's exciting. Fab! It's a mother-daughter beauty pageant. And you're men. Piss off. We are far more beautiful and talented than those two, I'm sure. Well, I don't know about talent, honey, but we certainly are far more beautiful. That's for sure.
passion contestant to open carefully, sucker. Want some ice cold lemonade, Alice? Contestants have come down with various illnesses this year. We wish them the speediest of recoveries, but as they say in Houston, <laughs> the show must go on. Before introducing tonight's two remaining mother daughter teams, however, let me introduce you to our distinguished panel of judges. Two teams! What the hell is going on here? They just sent out those diapers! I feel more mama! I feel just like you told me to mama! First, the eminent psychotherapist, Dr. Francis P. Falasulo, Ph.D. Thank you very much for having me. I do expect a proper pageant decorum. Uh, if I see any repeated acts, I do have the authority to throw you out of the pageant on your ass. Uh... And our next judge is the world-famous W.R. Slowly. I would expect that the, the winners of this pageant would be those two contestants who had the most proper pre-planning. And our final judge is a film critic who traveled all the way from Secaucus, New Jersey to be with us here tonight, Mr. James Brecker. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, back in 1953 when I ran a Bijou, I was about uh, 35 years old then. I remember the movies were there, they all... Thanks to our judges, and now on with the pageant. Our first two contestants come to us tonight all the way from downtown. Let's have a warm fallopian welcome for Emerald and Flossie Zinkowitz. Well, aren't they beautiful? So, who's the mother and who's the daughter? Emerald. And this is my ugly, beautiful daughter, Flossie. Ravishing. Well, we'll see you later in our talent round. Later. Later in the show. Talent. Beautiful. Thank you. And now for our second contestants of the evening, the lovely Alice Demure and her daughter Lily. Very nice. You two certainly are beautiful, and you look so young. Why, thank you. Well, you know, all the makeup and all. <laughs> well, that's very nice. We'll see you later. And we'll be right back. I noticed unusually light spending on Mr. Half for City World Visa, so I enrolled him in our purchase forwarding program. With purchase forwarding, when card member spending is lighter, City World buys goods and services on your account to bring you back up to your credit limit. door-to-door -door meat salesman. You know, ground round, sirloin tips, kielbasa, the works. Well, anyway, 
Last month, I got my City World visa bill in the mail. And they told me I bought a $3,500 evening gown at Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't remember buying any dress, and it wasn't even my size. So I called the City World 800 number. Well, Mr. Heffer was confused at first, and then I told him he had up to 12 months to pay. Boy, I was relieved. I couldn't believe a bank doing all that stuff for me. I'm sure glad my visa card's at City World. Welcome back to the talent segment of our show. Emerald and Flossie are going to attempt the famed sword and basket magic trick, perfected by the great magician Houdini and never attempted since his death. I'm sorry, but I must correct you. This is no trick, but an illusion more along the lines of the immortal Doug Henning and Charles Dickens' David Copperfield. I will now perform this death-defying sword illusion for you. Flossie! Get your ass! Excuse me. Flossie, please step into the basket. I will now plunge the sword into the basket, leaving my daughter completely unharmed. Sword number one. <laughs> number two. due to its difficult and graphic nature. to make their final decision, and a difficult decision it will be, too, I'm sure. Off to T-101. Thank you, Mr. Brinkert. And the winners are Alice and Lily Demure. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Beautiful. Any thoughts in your moment of ecstasy? Oh, I wish my lover, boyfriend, husband, Dominic, was here to share this moment with me. 
Wonderful, beautiful sentiment. And now to present them with their prize, the Honorable Ted Stetson III, Mayor of Houston, Texas. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, ladies. I'm here to present you with this check for $30,000. Thank you for tuning in, and good night. Fifty-one in Christopher Street, please. Thank you. <laughs> we won. We showed that emerald. Oh, you're right, Ellis. She got just what she deserved. Look, I broke my earring. Oh, well, look, my stockings are torn to hell and back, but we won anyway. <laughs> <laughs>